Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at a version of Windows 11 that looks like macOS 26. This build of Windows, or this custom build, I should say, was created back in June, like immediately after WWDC. So it is a little bit old at this point, but I'm just really shocked that they were able to come out with something like this this quickly. I am truly excited to see how much of a dumpster fire this is. This is made by Harbor of Tech. We've taken a look at quite a few of Harbor of Tech's custom Windows builds in the past, and they have been dumpster fires. So I'm eager to see how bad this one is. Now, I already have two complaints right off the bat. One, the download link from Harbor of Tech's official website had to redirect me to one of those like ad shorteners that requires you to sit there and watch an ad so that the creator earns money. I just that just rubs me the wrong way first of all and then second of all I had to go back and watch Harbor of Tech's video until I could get the password to unzip the file it wasn't listed on his website it was literally like two-thirds of the way through the video so I had to watch to get that password so needless to say I'm already not happy with the way that this build of Windows uh, is coming about but we'll still give it a chance here I do want to take a look at it and just we're gonna see how interesting this build of Windows is. It came out back in June, so it is older. Um, like I said, it was probably based off developer build one, because again, this was right after WWDC where they announced Mac OS Tahoe, which comes out today, if you're watching this on the day this video came out. I'm so excited for the official release. Um, but that was a very quick install, literally one button to select the partition, and we're installing already. All right, here we are on the desktop. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and that is not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the scaling so that you guys get a better viewing experience. But the only thing I've done so far is I went ahead and installed VMware tools off camera. So we're gonna go ahead and set the scaling here, 125%. And of course not. I love Windows. Sorry, Mac OS 26 by Harbor of Tech. So. One thing I'm noticing just straight out of the bat is that the OS is, of course, slow um, for the simple fact of that it just genuinely is slow because there's so much bloatware piled onto it. Um, it should not take me this long to log into an install of Windows 11. Uh, this is supposed to be something that is very snappy, but instead, because of all the crap that's loaded on top of it on this image, it is taking so long just to load into the desktop. So. Let's let this run, and who knows when we'll see our macOS desktop. All right, and here we are in macOS 26 Windows 11. I don't even know if this has an official name or not. Um, but here we can see that at the very top of the screen where the macOS bar is, that is actually our start menu, where we can see that we have our show desktop button, which gets rid of the dock. We have our action center. I just realized I said this is the start menu. This is actually the taskbar, not the start menu. Um, the action center takes over the um, the bar, which is interesting. We have the clock, which again, also same thing. Volume, which actually opened down there and up there. Again, it's a buggy disaster. We have our network, same thing, and then our system tray. Surprisingly, no customizations in the system tray. And notice every time I click on it, the color, or I I'll interact with it, the color changes. Over here on the left side, we have the Windows Store, um, which I am noticing that some things open behind the taskbar. So like that one kind of half opened up at the top, so like I can't hit the X button uh, because the taskbar is in the way. I then have the Search button, which just opens up Windows Search in the bottom left of the screen, because that makes total sense, right? Um, and then we have the Apple logo, which is just the start menu, which is like start all back or something weird like that. Down here on the dock, we have our trash can, which is our recycle bin. We'll take a look at the window borders later. We have settings, which actually opens control panel, not the real settings, which I don't like that. We have the app store, which is just the Windows store. Calculator, which is just Windows calculator, didn't even try to customize it to look like Mac OS. Music, which is literally just the music file in File Explorer. Calendar, which is Windows Calendar. And yet again, we see the example of, oh, now I actually can't close out of it using the window border because it opened behind the start menu. Uh, I won't go too much into depth, but I bet this is just probably at the pictures folder. Then we have our maps, mail, Safari, which is probably just Microsoft Edge. Oh no, it's Chrome. This actually comes with Chrome and it comes with Chrome version 117 pretty old 
then have our app launcher which is literally just the start menu and then finder which opens the file explorer this gives us a beautiful segue into looking at the actual window borders and the file explorer so the one thing I do like is that it looks very modern. I like this glass feel, which again is a lot of the reason why I like Mac OS 26 in the first place. The glass feel and the transparency in the background of this file explorer window is just amazing. I love it. You can see the different elements in the background as you move it around. Um, I'm curious to know if this works with uh, other elements as well. So yeah, it's whatever's in the background, not just the desktop background. So like I can put Chrome in the background and I can see everything in Chrome. Um, the icons do look very modern and they mimic the blue Mac OS folders. Of course, the hue of blue is off. This is a deeper blue than what we see on Mac OS, but regardless, it still looks nice. Um, and then we can see we have our disk where while we're here, we'll take a look that we are using 12.1 out of 47.7 gigs free, which our entire disk is 59.8. So that all adds up. I do like the fact that some of the buttons are blue just like they are in Mac OS. Up here we can see the window borders themselves. The first thing that catches my eye is that the distancing between them is not equal. So the distancing between the red X and the yellow maximize is larger than the distance between the yellow maximize and the green minimize. Uh, when we hit maximize, it doesn't maximize full screen like Mac OS does um, because Windows doesn't support that. But when you do maximize at full screen, you see some problems that we have come across. Number one, our controls are now hidden because the start menu or the taskbar rather is in the way. Um, and it also cuts off half of our dock. So now the only way to close it is to do that. And now it's probably gonna open full screen every time. So we have just screwed this up. Nice. Let's go ahead into settings here and see what we're running. So if we go into, let's see, system about, we can see that this is Windows 11 version 22H2. Oh wow, this is this is honestly disappointing. The first of all, this is Windows 11 Home, which is a nightmare to begin with. Then we're on 22H2, which was installed in August of 2023, despite the fact that OS was released in July of June of 2025. So just some random VM image. This is a disaster. I don't know. Um, this is this is a nightmare. Um, anyways, on the desktop, I didn't even notice that we didn't look at this. We have a configure exe, which is the Harbor of Tech free toolbox, of course, because there is a paid toolbox too, in case you want to pay for this garbage. Um, we have visit creators channel, blah, 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 blah. We're not going to look at all that, whatever. Let's take a look here at our task manager where we can see that we are utilizing. Let's take a look here. Uh, I would say typical Windows CPU utilization, but well now we're down to typical, you heard me say that. Uh, Windows likes to idle around 1-5%, to and in memory we're using 2.2 .2 out of 8 gigs. So with that being said, this is just a really brief overview of this interesting operating system. Um, I do have to say, it is not as great as I would have imagined it to be. Um, the one thing we actually didn't take a look at is in the start menu. Um, it comes pre-pinned with Outlook and a bunch of web apps, specifically the Google Workspace suite. Um, and then under all programs, we can see everything we have installed. Uh, but again, nothing too out of the ordinary for a Windows 11 Home install, may I add. I can't believe this is Windows Home. But yeah, it is an interesting build. I highly recommend that nobody actually uses this in their day-to-day -day life. I hope that no one would even try it. Um, it is a very not secure way uh, to run your to, to use your computer so that being said if you like this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as we do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations if you have any ideas for isos please drop them in the comments below because i love looking at viewer recommended videos with that being said i'll see you all in the next one